Mystery Science Theater 3000 Show 505 Real One. In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him into space. Send the cheesy movies The worst we can find We'll have to sit and watch them all And we'll monitor his mind Now keep in mind Joe can't control Where the movies begin or end Because he used those special parts To make his robot friends Robot, robot, robot Hi, girl. Tom Servo. Oh, cool cool. You're wondering how he eats and breathes and other science facts. Then repeat to yourself, it's just the show. I should really just relax. For mystery science theater 3000. Welcome back to the third annual Salty Awards. And to present our next awards, he's at the peak of his career and she's totally tubular. So please welcome Crow T Robot and the lovable Gypsy. Well, Crow, it seems as if everybody who's anybody is here tonight. That's because they knew you'd be wearing that dress. <laughs> wow. <laughs> get you everywhere. Now be good and read the nominees. Oh, I'll read the nominees, but I won't be good. <laughs> the nominees for Best Performance by a Red Gumball Machine Looking Robot in a Funny Situation are Joel Robinson for That Day at Lunch. Magic Voice for Last Thursday When We All Stayed Up Late Telling Stories. Tom Servo for the day he lost control of his hover skirt. And uh, Crow T Robot, the day Tom lost control of his hover skirt. And the golden bone goes to. Gosh, I'm nervous. Thanks, Joel. Oh my god. Crow T Robot! Oh my the god! Day Tom oh my god! Oh my god! Skirt. I'm yeah. shocked! I'm shocked! Thank you. I'm very grateful. I'm truly Wait honored. Wait a minute. To, hold uh, on, hold on. This is highway it's, robbery. It's, Wait a minute. Hold it. Hey. Hey. Price Waterhouse on the phone. I demand a recount. You know what this is, don't you? It's fear of a short red planet. That's hey, what it is. Hey, I won fair and square, Did Buckaroo. No. Did, Did no. I Did Actually, I thought I had a pretty good shot at it. Well, that's Tinseltown. We'll be right back. <laughs> But when you come right down to it, it's enough of an honor to be nominated, really. Hmm? Oh, yeah, the nomination itself is really what's important. Yeah. Oh, who am I trying to kid? A nomination without a win spells one word. Loser. Yep. Ah, uh, come on, can the bitterness, you guys. OC and Stiggs are calling. <laughs> oh, hello, Joel. I was just drawing on TV's Frank what I, Dr. Clayton Forrester, was born with. A cleft chin. In other words, a chin butt. <laughs> Call it what you will. The fact is, we found a new area of the human body to be ashamed of. And shame fuels the economy, from mouthwash to deodorant. Where there's shame, there's a need. And our invention exchange this week meets that need. We give you... Frank's wearing the basic brief while I'm sporting the bikini cut. It also comes in boxer, Italian bun hugger, and of course the <laughs> Joe Namath knitted slingshot brief. <laughs> They're affordable, comfortable, and leave no visible panty line. Oh, Frank, that's disgusting. If you ask me, you guys have been underground a little too 
long. <laughs> anyway, our invention exchange this week is based on Frank Sinatra and the Rat Pack. It's the Rat Pack chess set. Cool. You see, the Rat Pack was sort of a drinking man's Justice League of America. The closest thing to royalty our great nation has yet produced. Why, they were the kings, queens, knaves, rooks, and pawns of our popular culture. My team on my side of the board is the actual Rat Pack. Frank Sinatra, of course, yeah. Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Peter Lawford, yeah. Joey Bishop, plus supplemental Rat Pack members, Shirley MacLaine, Sammy Kahn, and Jilly Rizzo. And, of course, my side of the board has the Rat Pack's nemesis. Well, there's uh, Shecky Green, mm -hmm. Kitty Kelly, Liz <laughs> Smith, Earl Wilson, mm -hmm. Sam Giancana, Judith Exner, of course, Bobby Kennedy, mm -hmm. and the Dark King himself, Mitch Miller. Oh, boo. Right, okay, now how do the pieces move, you guys? Uh, well, Dean Martin can only stagger sideways across the board. Yeah. Uh, Sammy Davis Jr. can move in a variety of different ways because he's so versatile. <laughs> hey, let's face it, the man was the consummate entertainer. Mm -hmm. What about uh, Joy Bishop? Bishop. He moves however Frank oh. says, baby. Right, okay. <laughs> and what about uh, old Blue Eyes himself? Where does he move? Wherever the hell he wants oh, to. Right. After all, he's the chairman of the chess board. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and check it out, he talks, too. Here's two bucks, doll face, because that's just what you're worth. Wow, cool. Now, uh, what about Peter Lawford over here? Well, he inevitably gets kicked off the board right. when JFK snubs Frank and stays at Bing Crosby's Palm Springs home. Well, then you can replace him with either Don Rickles, a Toot Shore, or the leggy Juliet Krause. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sometimes Dino passes out and can't continue on. In that case, Liza Minnelli, uh, being the trooper that she is, is always ready to replace him at a moment's notice. Mm. So you see, everybody, even when a game like chess is Americanized, it's still really complicated. Mm -hmm. What do you think, mm -hmm. sirs? Joel, your experiment this week is the magic voyage of Sinbad. We whipped it together specifically to cause pain, and we did it our way. <laughs> <laughs> You don't got movie signed till I say you got movie signed, capiche? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, go ahead, you crumb bums. Thank you. Yeah! 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 Mm. Oh, you know what? I saw the magic voyage of Brad Garrett. Yeah. Hey, this is the credits from my dream of genie. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I love that typeface. Arnold Kaler, Maurice Troilin, Robert Searle. It's a cast of farmers. Oh. Rimsky Korsakoff? Oh, this must have been one of his early films. <laughs> hey, when he's not scoring films, isn't he in Oingo Boingo? No. Uh, yeah. Oh, geez, it's kind of cloudy on the lake today. Oh, yeah, but the crappies are really biting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't get no better eating than crappies. Oh, yeah, I you. caught some walleyes the other day. That's like eating candy. Oh, mm -hmm. crepes, you know, I'd like to catch me a big northern. Yeah. The fishing yeah. sketch, ladies and gentlemen, the fishing sketch. Thank you. you know, this already seems very Poscoian. Mm -hmm. They say that long ago to the east, beyond the temples of India, and further even than the jewel cities of Arabia, lies the city of Minneapolis. Remarkable city of Kobasan, the home of Sinbad. Well, this isn't it, but it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Sinbad the sailor. Ah, uh, that's me. Yeah, pretty Walked much going to Kobasan. Look at the buildings. Who was carried through the air in the claws of the gigantic bird, the Roc. Sinbad has returned, and nobody seems to care. I'm very popular in Kobasan. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You guys are terrific. Thanks a lot. Sinbad the adventurer who sailed around the world in search of its magical treasure. Lee, I did that thing. Spices. Hi, Dave, Trent, Chad, Troy, volcanoes. Fred, Steve, Todd, Mark. Pearl apples from Bungo. the kingdom at the bottom of the sea. That bear has hammer pants on. Somebody at the hotel in New Hampshire. Hey, you walked right through my act. Up yours. Morning. Ancient industry. <laughs> oh. But Sinbad having given away ow, his treasures ow, to the ow, poor people ow. of other lands, returned to his home with only a heart, which they say, when played, would bring about magical things. Heidi Doodle! <laughs> hey, that's a sword there, isn't it? Here, let me try it out. Thanks a lot. Woohoo! Whoopee! Whoop, whoop! Thank you. All about him, Sinbad could see that a great change had come over his city. Huh. The people were dressed poorly, and seemed hungry and tired. We're hungry and tired. Whereas the wealthy merchants 
seemed richer than ever. Yet they also looked like crap. It's the Ozark Mountain Daredevils taking out the laundry. <laughs> well, sir, you all have to work so hard. I might play a couple of rounds of golf. <laughs> It was on that first day of his return to Kovasan. A shot rang out. Bad found himself charmed by a poor working girl of the city. What are you called? They call me Mr. Tibbs. Luberia. What an annoying name. Do you always stare at people? Not always. <laughs> uh, well, uh. Could I have a drink, please? Yes. Yes, uh, water. <laughs> uh. Let me pass. Please, uh, won't I be able to meet you again? I doubt that. I'm retaining a little water. It's kind of a yoke. It's, uh, oh. Strike one sin, bad. Wait, how shall I find you? Just ask for the girl with two buckets. Get it? Should you want to, you will. In other words, buzz off. Look to this day, graduate. Ha! But there were still the poor people. Kobasan was now a weary, enslaved city, with bondage a common word. Next up Why on Slave Search! Ha! <laughs> Funny the slave people. carrot top! Without you. <laughs> I'm gonna but do my people, chops. <laughs> I would speak to you. Who would stand tauntless? A bonded man, a drink. Ah, go on, you've drunk enough the heavens now! Is a slave miserable? It was hunger that enslaved him. Better than starving. Let him look for a happiness. Howard happiness. Johnson is right. Nothing is better than starving. What? When you lose your freedom for the sake of a full stomach. Listen to me, good people of the city of Corvassan. Consider Amway. I have heard there is a bird of happiness. We need only to go and find it. In what land is this bird supposedly flying? I tell you to talk. That I do not know. But this old man, I will tell you. Hmm? We must look for it. Look for it until we find it. But I kid the poor. I'll build a boat and sail about the world. I'll sail and search until I have found it. And how will That's you great. finance that? Security! Thing? You aren't even a merchant. Here. My only fortune is my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you think that's funny? What's so funny? What did you sell your freedom for? Some Knicks tickets. What would it take to free you? Uh, oh, this is an open silver. stage. One piece of silver. Here, this is not so bad. Who will give me one piece of silver for it? Here, let me see. Scram. I will buy it. I own the man. It is his right. Here you are. Well, he made bail. <laughs> if you ever do make your journey. Which I doubt. You must not be selfish. Alone. Your bird cannot bring you happiness. Thanks, I'll mull that over. What did I get myself into? I just got into town! Man. Ah, screw that. I'm going for the bird. One man freed, but still there were thousands more. Guess I should have brought more hats. Sorry, Mr. Sinbad. Ah, great. I give up my hat, now I'm the jerk. And so it came to pass that Sinbad's joyful return to his home was marred by the poverty and unhappiness of its people. Dumb old poor people. A city without magic. Where the marvelous wonders were long forgotten. Where the riches of others enslaved the good people. So Sinbad went to the Renaissance Festival! <laughs> Wait just a doggone minute. I'm still Sinbad, damn it. No, no, I'm Dutch. I don't want any furs. What am I doing here? Consider fur. Hmm. Brought to you by the Fur Council. <laughs> Woo. Woo hey, that's an odd way to go to communion. But, but it's, it's 27 brides for 27 brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Yip, yip, yip. I used to be able to walk, and now all I can do is this. My house shall not be a house of hilarity. Help <laughs> me! I don't know how to stop! Been around the world, and I've never seen anything as stupid as this. 
when jesters drink. If you must jest, don't drink. Hey, Paul Winter. <laughs> it's not working! <laughs> hey, no, look, everybody's gotta go. My parents are coming home any minute. I'll get your check. <laughs> Nothing's funnier than a jester on the floor. <laughs> the two stages of Jackie Cooper. Young, old. I don't choose to beg. A table for one is all I ask. The hell? Sinbad, the kitchen is closed. Oh, him. Who is this what a dope. What look at the zither. Are you? <laughs> Wiener. Where do you come from? Where do you go back that. there? A traveler of many lands. Big deal. I'm stopping again right here. Dope. On the beautiful shores of Kovasan. Oh, uh, it's the great Sinbad gracing us with his presence. I'll handle this intruder. Watch this. Just now, Sinbad, you have incurred my anger. Hmm. Oh, dare you break in here and disrupt my party, uncouth wastrel. This noble city this England. does not need the likes of you. Abdallah, if you please to wait. If you will all just wait for one minute. I have some amazing discoveries. Listen, please, I must insist. Sleep. Believe me, I come not to quarrel. On the contrary. But with a proposition. You can increase your income by $25,000. to all of us. Oh, sounds great. Oh. Drop the chandelier on him. An offer of value? Well, tell us about it. What have you to offer us? Well, it's kind of a work in progress, really. All night long I've listened to you talking, toasting and bragging of your power, your wealth and your happiness. Not me. Don't you know that when you die, that you die, these riches cannot be taken with you. You have to sail the seven flippin' seas to but find that out, cha-cha? To bring happiness to all Kovatan. Find this happiness. Kierkegaard. Search all over the earth. Build up a fleet of merchant ships. You want to take it outside, Present sir? Your goods to all men and establish forever the glory of Colossan. Hmm? He is mad. Hey, listen to a fool. A drifter trying to teach the experts. Oh, Jerry, you always come up with the right line. <laughs> oh, Jerry. Away with him. Away with him. Away with the troublemaker. Get him out. Abdallah, this badgering must stop. Santa, be reasonable. That speaks the truth, then. Yes, he promises us glory, and he has nothing in his pockets. You believe him, and you are a fool, I say. Why won't you listen? You're a bright man, but now you don't act very bright. Listen to your elder. We must send the ships. Oh, the heat are coming through. The heat are coming through. Watch yeah. out. Oh. Perhaps Sinbad is right. What if he is? Who cares if he should be? You mind your business. Diat, what? I don't have to uh, You could do worse. <laughs> Now, Vagabond, you cause trouble! Here's Sinbad, a dream for the great traveler. He traveled the seas and saw the sights and still has nothing! Huh? Get out, old fool! He just brought the level of discourse Please way down. Up. If you don't listen to him, you're all worse than hypocrites. You have hippopotamuses! You disagree with your father's wisdom? To side with a wastrel? You have shamed us! In front of everyone! Well, you guys Stop. were shameful before he got here. I'll get ships without your assistance. I'm here to stop the chain of fear that's plagued this family. People who are wiser than you. <laughs> I'm out of here, I thanks. I can do better with it than you. The poor will wear brocade clothes. Hmm? They'll dance in the streets and have gold to spend. Sinbad, ladies and gentlemen, he always leaves us laughing. <laughs> yeah. oh, joke. Come on, jesters, leave him alone. He's had enough. Oh, that went well. Arrogant, smug merchant. Last time I go to the Rotary. They will regret... Sinbad, the resentful sailor. Take me along with you, Sinbad. Hmm? And who are you? Hadabad is my name. Here I'm just a buffoon that means nothing. But with you I could do a man's work. Oh, please take me with you. <laughs> no! Men work hard. Oh, please take me with you, Sinbad. I will work well. I promise. What are you nuts? No! All right. You will be my first recruit. You're on probation for six weeks. Now let me go. I must plan for our future. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank God he didn't check my references.
The merchants had made their decision. The condition of the people was of no concern to them. What condition their condition is in? Kenny Rogers. Oh, no, it's Sid Hartha. Was that a Howard Hessman reference? Uh, uh, Rudolph Hess. Where is love? Hey, someone took my fort down. Steve Martin's World of Birds. I'm a sprite. So, sadly, Sinbad wandered to the edge of the enchanted sea and had a magic BM. He began to play his magical harp in the hopes that his troubles would be answered. Jim Dandy to the rescue. Jim. Alone, my soul must always be. El Martino? Is happiness beyond the sea? Oh. Does it hide its shining fair in dark caverns waiting there? Is that a rhetorical question? My heart laments the years I Sinbad, spent do you mind? In search of happiness. Oh, no, she's a tall drink of water. <laughs> you cuss it up. If there's a place where kindness dwells. Is there a place where you can shut my up? My heart would find its rest. How about giving it a rest now, Sinbad? Happiness, could you be loved? Hidden in a maiden's eyes. Sinbad, unplugged. The secret key for uh, if you find a melody, Sinbad, hop on. In my own heart lies. Next, thank you. My must be Sinbad, honey, I'm begging you, please stop. Please. Each way but pray forever. Um, Mr. Bad, the apartment oh, building next door has asked me to ask you to shut up, please. Oh, moon, let's see. Everybody, just the goldfish now. Take it to the bridge, Sinbad. Drop it in the water. <sighs> Sinbad. Ah, don't do Won't that. Don't even look at me waiting for you. Oh, jeez, did you just see everything? Oh. There, Sinbad. You are the fairest woman I've ever seen. You seem so gloomy. Here, have some Prozac. Perhaps you long for someone who does not care for you. Is she a kabuki actress? Your song pulled at the very heart of Morgiana. I'm your friend. Oh, she's a groupie. You must let me help you. I have the powers of my father. And where is your father that he has such powers? Below the sea. Mm -hmm. Known to you as Neptune. Known to me as Fred. If you were only to look at his magical kingdom, you would see goldfin uh -huh. fishes uh -huh. and mysteries okay. beyond belief. Sure, would it's real to you, dear. Your eyes. Right. <laughs> you must yeah. see uh -huh. this. <laughs> Flee this land of worry and come below. For a carnival cruise vacation. Make the most of this opportunity and journey with me. But I cannot. I must stay here and keep my promise. I have a doctor's appointment at the desk. I've promised to bring the bird of happiness to Kovasan. And I must search the earth for it. And still my ships cannot be launched. Hmm? I have no money to begin my search. Uh, no money? Well, so I you gotta go. On a bound, I see. So what are you looking at? Oh, I'm back. Thank Sorry. You shall. Bring a boat here. Begin to cast beneath the waters below. Huh. And I shall be there. Bringing you my golden fish. Oh, wow. Oh, right, I love this lake. Yes. She's a keeper. Oh, yeah. Morning's coming. And we shall part now, Sinbad. Perchance I have won. This is the latest taster's choice ad. Mm. Time will tell. I left ten thousand dollars in the. I will come, Morgiana. Riches from the sea. Whoa, <laughs> riches! Gold sea, foolish merchants, all of you. Gold sea. Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, boy, that cavorting really takes it out of you. Uh, gesturing is grueling. Uh, uh, movie made it look so easy. Uh, 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 okay, you guys, now listen up. We got uh, plans for the next uh, junior jester meeting. The first Tuesday next month, don't forget your dues. Uh, I make a motion that the next meeting we do our cavorting laying down on coaches. Uh, I can't make it next month. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey, but you're in charge of the snack committee. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, there's really no reason to meet during the summer, is there? Uh, maybe we should dissolve the chapter. Uh, wait a second, you guys, we can't dissolve the junior jester's club. Where else am I going to wear these shoes? Oh, wow. Okay, how about we meet June 4th, huh? Uh, no, that's how we got the Mr. B Natural practice that day. Uh, hey, uh, we got commercial sign, I think. Uh, Crow, could you be a deer and get that? Uh, we'll try to iron this out. We'll be right back. <laughs> Boy. Through the night, the oh boy. Out. Mm, I'm drinking just right. You know, cavorting really air. makes you lose your electrolyte. Mm -hmm. And promises you a happy life. Magic and riches for the people of Kobasan. <laughs> Next on the Price is Right, John Ray Stevies. Come on down! Well, wakened as well and grumbled at having their rest disturbed. Who is this who rings the bell at this time of night? What madness is this? What fresh hell is this? Let's take the back the night! Neil Diamond tickets were on sale. What is it? What could be happening? Hmm? The city's running like madmen. This is all the earmarks of a run on the bank. Anthony! Here on the north side of Persia, it's Prince Spaghetti Day. What's the meaning of this? Who dares call the people? I do. Oh yeah, everybody just stop your lives and pay attention to Sinbad. Yes, take him now. <laughs> if I could just do my opening joke, <clears throat> women be different from men, you see? Let me speak to you. Please, let me speak to you. I do not wish to hear you. Let him speak. Give us Barabbas. Hear me, three men. Hear me now as I speak to you. What if Jack Nicholson worked at a Burger King? Isn't I think it would go. To bring happiness to all of you. And I failed miserably. I felt this goal could be reached. But your illustrious merchants would have none of it. They laughed all this off. I say to you people that I will do this. Lose eight pounds by Christmas. And then I will cast the silken net. And this I will do. Catch fishes with golden fins. There is no such fish as that in the ocean, and you very well know it. This insolent dog is trying to make fools of us all. This idiot should be drowned for his insolence. He's a populist. You just can't stop him. Burn the witch! Burn the witch! I'll make a fringe out of him. And this, I am sure, will satisfy you. I'll catch these fish if I'm able. Then you will give me the keys to your warehouses. And should I fail? I freely give you the head of Sinbad. And I'll insist that you all spank me. And now what do you say? Bite me! You shall have his head, I warrant you. Who ever heard of these golden fishes? Well, what do you say? Is it agreed then? No! You have all heard the agreement. Now we will see what the morning will bring. A hangover. <laughs> he has the entire day. Sinbad will cast his net and catch his golden fish as he promises. And if he does not catch them, then his head will belong to us. So, agree. And now I'm gone. Well, maybe not. Jay Heilman Brewing Company, La Crosse, Wisconsin. Over there. Beyond the blue horizon. Only the brave shall join me. It's noon and he's still filibustering. Oh, eh, uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, pick oh, me. Sister, oh, sister, oh, sister, oh, sister. It's not a simple job. Not everyone has the strength for it. We must test each man to see. If you wish to go on the journey, then you must pass the test. Not everyone is cut out to be an Arby's fry cook. Tonight, Cannon goes undercover. Selecting an army. Form against us and him. We shall soon have his head for all his folly. Not soon enough. Still, it was a good speech. Mm. Rule out a 
barrel of wine and the large drinking cup. We'll have a barrel of There's fun. There's enough for all of you. Everyone dresses like Michael Nesmith in this town. Who'll be first to try? Step up here. I hear the call. Let me have it. Drink. <laughs> They're test marketing Crystal Pepsi. Sinbad and friends, the college years. <laughs> Foster Brooks, ladies and gentlemen. Foster Brooks. <laughs> and now you try. I'm ready. The Drink alcoholic voyage of Sinbad will be back after this. Ah, good man. Are you prepared to stand up to one blow? Do it. Whoa. <laughs> Couldn't it just guess your weight or something? Let's see if I can stand the blow. All right, Kasim, here is your drink. Who's guessed? This is how they selected the jury for the Rodney King trial. Ooh. Bravely done. If I knock you down, good Kasim, don't bear me a grudge. All right? See if you can knock me down. How about a nice Hawaiian punch? <laughs> We're gonna make it after all! Sinbad thinks of all the fun stuff. You see what he's trying to do there? Ow! 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 You passed the test. SATs were different back then. I am ready for the test. No need. You pass without it. Well, but free wine is hard to come by. It is me and the groin then. Well said. He's drinking out of a Captain Crunch hat. There's a squirrel in there. Look at that. No, hit me too. That would be the day when a fist hurt him. Better hit him with a cudgel or else nothing. Elmer <laughs> always comes up with a real zinger. Cudgel, and I still won't fall. I'll tell you, let him fight my bear. Then we'll see a really good match here, eh? I'll give you a bear a fight. Why not? Hey, nobody ever asked me if I wanted to be a part of this. The bear's going into rope a dope. Come on, you far run. Hey, check it out. The bear's having an intervention with Dan Haggerty. Dan, I wouldn't confront you like this if I didn't care about you. See, Dan, even Denver Pyle and his family showed up. They want you to seek help, too. I love you, damn it. Danny, can't you see that you're destroying yourself? Come on! Listen, Haggerty, you can fight me and run away, but you can never run away from yourself. Get off! You'll kill him! Get off, you brute! Get off! <laughs> oh, it's been a fun day! You're a strong man indeed, Thomas. Wish I could hire you. <laughs> hey, Sinbad! Hmm? Will you take me with you? Uh, let me explain it one more time. No. You're a little too weak, I fear. Oh, that was uncalled for. I think you'll find me valuable if you try me. You see, I do many things. Things that other men cannot do. You see that I'm wily and clever with my hands. Strength is not all. What do you see here? I see a suspicious stain. He's a demon! Ah! All right, Tripod. You'll join us, and we're happy to have you. Yes. Put him on another ship. And now, friends, get me a net. A silken one to catch the beef. The time has come. You know, guys, this doesn't seem like Persia, and it's probably not even Sinbad. Mm -mm. The sun has long been up. The Sam Scratch is going on. You know, he never really goes out to sea. He just goes out a little ways. These are the fabulous golden fish. Hey. Hey, a whole bunch of fish. You can all go home now. <laughs> Spectator fishing. Hmm. Ah, just some syringes and Coney Island whitefish. He can say goodbye to his head now, huh? I'm dead. No luck. Hoo-ha! The hell? No fish. Still, it's a nice day to be out. Hmm. Uh, how long do I get? Oh, there goes the tag going right there. Here he goes there. again, guys! Look out! That, this is it, the big one. That, uh, uh, do bullheads count? Darn. What is this? Nothing. This man holds no gold pin fish. I know. Are you Yukon Cornelius over here? And the crowd settles in after a disappointing first half. Three weeks later... Wait till they get a load of me. Get along, little 
fishies, yeehaw. Whoa, really stunk it up in here. Pesto burp, sorry fish. Oh please, oh please, oh please, oh please, oh please. Ah, princess, you haven't forgotten me. Oh, beautiful. I won, I won. We have a winner, hold your cards. We're gonna make it after all. Hey, does anybody see anything in this movie remotely Arabian? Uh... Hooray! Uh, what's the fish gonna do for us again? Give it up for me! I won! Woo! Ah, you've lost your wager, Merchant, and now you must give your goods to Sinbad. Ah, uh, jam it, you crummy back. pro. Thank you. Keep it up. Keep it going for me. Come on. You. It's me. Uh-oh. What's the clearance on that bridge? I don't know. I think it's about 13.9. And... <clears throat> this is turning out to be one heck of a portage. Yes, it's me. Hello. Kiss my big white Sinbad butt. I won. Woohoo! Who's going to clean it? Ah, fooey. I'm going home. Clippers is returning home home after winning in the World World Series. Why do you have such club faces, Merchant? Don't you think I look better with my head? Yeah, let's try it the other way and see. Uh. Hand over the keys to all of your warehouses. Now, give me your pin numbers for your bank cards. Here now, my worthy crew. Take these keys and open the shops. Get yourselves clothes and new sharp swords. Then give new clothes to everyone. Get them things they eat. Long. Clothes, food, and fuel. All this give to the poor. The silk and the velvet cloth. All this give them and let them know how it is to be rich. All right, and stock up on socks. You know, you're never going to have this chance again. It's just a band-aid for the economy. Yeah, economics. <clears throat> These people, any excuse to squat? This is like Sturgis before motorcycles. You know, I can't tell if that's a Magritte or if it's a hole in the wall. <laughs> hey, Mr. Tambourine Man! Hey, son, for me. Boy, life is sure better since that one fish got here. Yeah, I wonder what they would have done for a lobster yeah. dinner. Let's see, before Sinbad came, everybody was partying, and after Sinbad came, everybody's partying. Well, he changed a whole lot here, didn't he? <laughs> Tap, don't ever do that again. Man, I never knew Arabia was so Russian. Well, maybe this was a Finnish movie called The Magic Voyage of Torval. Mm. It's Dance Party Persia. Or Finland. Nobody ever picks me for basketball. Hey, Tripod, you look so Tripod? Lost. Why aren't you singing and dancing like the others? Have a good time. You must forgive me. I do not feel like dancing. I do not feel and like dancing. Sure the time has come for rejoicing. Why shouldn't the people enjoy themselves? Look how happy everyone is. No hunger or poverty. They have happiness. But is it really so? Take the trouble to look beyond your nose and what do you see? Oh, geez, even when Paris was liberated, this guy brought them all down. Oh, yeah, that. Keep looking there. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. Come on, take a big, steamy gawk. I'm looking. Come on, look. look. Stop look. it. Look. Stop look. it. Look. Oh, they were sold out. Huh? Could you catch another fish, please? Who are they? The lost ones. They heard. Jason Patrick, keep us up. You've given everything, everything you had away to the people here. And still, there is no happiness. Your point, please? Now there is no money to build your ships. I've muddled my own plans. You muddied your own pants? <laughs> I just wanted to give happiness to them. All it in didn't. an instant. Look, go ruin another town's economy. And stay out, Sinbad! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not crying. Luberia. Great job, Sinbad. You really humiliated me today. I was almost afraid you weren't coming. I had trouble getting away from Mother. And my boyfriend is waiting in the car. Did you tell your mother of my love for you? No, she will think not I'm hear stupid. It. She says I haven't known you long enough. 
think you're a seaman and the sea has no place for me. And she brought up the fish thing, too. What can I do? You must see my position. Is she laying him off? We can no longer see one another. Well, this pretty much fits with the rest of my day. Yes. Well, I can still see Debbie. That's not what I say. That's what my mother said to me. Uh, your mother doesn't she want to see me anymore? about you. I'll always be proud of what you have done. You don't have to become rich. I only want you. And a tetherball. I know you, Sinbad. I believe I can make you happy. So you see, you must let me. Oh, oh, sorry, I was thinking about my hat. But I must leave you shortly. Oh, and that golden fish isn't agreeing with me at I all. I have to make my journey. What journey? No, the big journey. I promised the people. I must search for their happiness. I pray first that you will find our happiness. But if theirs is more important, remember. Don't flush Q-tips. First and last I am yours. Oh, whoopee dink, Sinbad's back. Uh, wanna get another softball game going? Eh? Mates, uh, my own uh, blender mayonnaise last night. Burned you uh, pretty creamy. Eh. Hey, those are from Pier 1. I bet they're really stinking up the place by now. A harvest of foolishness I've left myself. Yep. Oh, she's playing with bath beads. Brought to you in living color. What? Suddenly sushi. Oh, great! The power of creative visualization. Ah, oh, princess, I thank you. Oh, fun. Uh, I also ironed your work shirt and packed your lunch, too. <laughs> My friends, wake up! We were wondering what would you do if Sinbad came to your town? <laughs> Wouldn't you want the city council to do something about it? Let's watch. Oh, okay, be it henceforth resolved. Parking is diagonal rather than parallel in downtown Persia. Next item. Can I get some water, please? Oh. Mr. President. You're the president? Uh, sure, why not? Uh, then can I be labor MP? Yes, the president <laughs> recognizes the honorable Tom Servo. Oh, thank you. And gentlemen, the Sinbad problem. Move the table. He's not Sinbad. Oh, my motion is out of order. I have not yet yielded the floor. Oh, okay. My honorable colleagues and Crow. <laughs> Far too Ooh. long have we denied the existence of this scourge. What a cheap demagogue. Servo, you're a cheap demagogue. Be it demagoguery, sir, to safeguard the public morals. Item one. Mm. Sinbad has continually and in clear violation of city statute 101.4563 1988 statute amended, interrupted our daily routine. He's not Sinbad. Gentlemen, I'm a fellow what likes to know what he's doing and when he's doing it. Ours is a society based on ancient traditions. I thought we just sold each other fish. That's what I <laughs> Oh, I got one. Could I have some more water, please? And most pressing on the public coffers, why in God's name is Sinbad tax exempt? Look, do you have a suggestion? Yes, banishments! Whoa. Okay, the president recognizes the labor MP from Brixton. Thank you. Move to refer whole issue to zoning, move to find out what the heck is with these beards, and move to find out the true identity of this guy's skin bag. <laughs> <laughs> no, you mean, you mean zigzag. Uh, precisely. Whiz bang. No. No. Gentlemen, no. our, our youth, really? our infrastructure. Oh. Move to sketch. Oh, uh, yes, go here a second. I second. Is there any discussion? Yeah, he's not Sinbad. Uh, so ordered. Can I get some water, <laughs> get please? Water for you. Oh, sometimes lost causes are the only causes worth fighting for. Oh, movie sign! Oh. <laughs> Tin pants. Skin yeah. blend. <laughs> Skin snag. Uh, look at this gold we've received from the sea. Welcome to Manic Depressiveville. Look, look, each man takes from at once. Is he Wake Percy up, Ross? <laughs> we must have chips at once. Strong past chips to carry us on our search for happiness. It's a rack this of Prano ribs. <clears throat> we will not return until <laughs> happiness is ours. However long it takes us. Hurry! The sea waits for us. Sinbad tested, got approved. Uh, 
And now intermission. Act hey. two. Well, this is it. This is really a dumb relationship. They haven't gone to a Dairy Queen or a movie or anything. Never mind. Wait patiently for me, loved one. Remember, don't eat refrozen you ice cream. Out of my heart. Out of the earth itself. I will come back to you. Stay alive. Whatever may occur, I will find you. Look, there they are. You'd better join them. The birds of love. I will send one after you every year. I want you to have this rearview mirror. If you wear this amulet, I'll feel safe. It's a Denver amulet. <laughs> You're a good man. Charlie Brown. Now you should go. Yeah. My own beloved. Yeah, it's just a business trip, honey. I will not weep. I love you very much. I love pancakes more, but... Hey, he's got a Stratego hat. And I, I ran. ran. I, I ran, ran so far. Now, I always thought Sinbad wore big genie pants and a vest with no shirt. Oh, well. Oh, geez. Sinbad doesn't make a big deal about anything, does he? You must not be angry with us, Sinbad. We only did what we thought was right. Now you have shown us wisdom. This is enough. I am not one to harbor grudges for long. Get out of here. Especially against rich, foolish men. Make a walk. Now we know that you really care. And that you are interested only in the glory of Gobus Hand. That's true. You're a hero, Kovacan. And if you want all of our goods, not mine. Yours to trade with. Take them. What is ZZ Top seeing a mom? I thank you for your confidence. I bid you farewell. Yeah, just Talk go, Sinbad. And find happiness for us all. Hey, look, the Trojan turkey. Yeah, like Sinbad goes to the store and he's got to call a crowd in. You know? <laughs> Thank you. Now, just the ladies. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Is, is the crowd moving or is the platform moving? Because the plot isn't moving. Boom. I said he could go. I didn't think he actually would. Oh, she's got a clacker hat. Oh, hey, those ships have scoliosis. Out of the harbor, you can stop bowing now, Sinbad. Okay. Okay, enough. Okay. This is God, now concluding my broadcast day. She's got dual overhead tear ducts. Hmm. Andy. Intermission. And now act three. <sighs> and so yeah. the gentle look. Must have missed his cue. Sinbad and his brave crew set out to sea, far into the mysterious regions of uncharted lands, far from the familiar faces and sounds of Kobasan, sailing into the troubled waters of the barbaric north. Sounds like God picked up some extra bucks doing voiceovers. He looks barbaric, doesn't he? Tom Stewart killed me! <laughs> Toast and marmalade with tea, sailing ships upon the sea. Hey, it's the guys from town. <laughs> they changed their outfits, ran around to the other side. <laughs> ah, yes, the Vikings of Sinbad. The guns of Navarro. Hey, they just discovered Easter Island. They look like the knights who say knee. Must be an overcrowding problem on this island, yeah. Nah, yeah, Sinbad thinks he's so tough, little brother. I think we will find that we are not welcome here. I said my good wishes to everybody. We come with peace in our hearts. And ants in our pants. If they wish to have commerce with us, we'll exchange goods and be on our way. Here, hang out of that for me, will you? Dingo boots, check it out. Is to see what they know of the bird of happiness. We don't know anything. Place, it's always possible. It's like a collective deer stand. Ooh. I claim this land for all. Stop where you are. Okay. Who has called you to come here? We're discovering you. Return at once. We arrive without invitation. 
We come from over the sea to see your land. To see your land? And in friendship, to mingle. To get some phone numbers. You see, we are a peaceful lot. We hope to trade with you. Come forward and inspect our wares. Rumble mints, anybody? It is too late. But we wish to be friends with you. Mm. Another step, and it will be the last step you ever take here. We'll turn ourselves right around and leave. But I can, of course, stop. Dig this. Watch. Obviously, our host wants us to leave. But tell me one thing. Why are you such a jerk? Have you got the bird of happiness? We uh, have a pretty friendly stop. chicken. Happiness is to kill our foes. What a happiness. Who wants that kind of life? We sometimes have to kill to protect ourselves. Could I put this down? As for happiness... Never. Uh, apparently they Men, don't know who I leave am. this place. People who kill for happiness. I heard that. They have turned their backs to us. Don't let them off the beach. Kill them. Okay. Oh. Look out, Sinbad. Hey, they're heading after him with ah, shrimp forks. So the only way you know is treachery. So be it, barbarians. The battle begins. Come on, men. Get them. Come on. Me. Do it! Catch me! Whoa. Oh! Whoa. Huh? Hey, Nito! We can only do that once, though. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, he's been caramelized. <laughs> he's hitting him with his windbreaker. Oh, that zipper hurts. Roll another one. <laughs> Man, these guys are easy to kill. <laughs> Grandpa, no! Where do you think you're going? My place is with him. You're too young to fight. Jim, don't do it, Jim. Here where it's safe. Oh, ow, my hip, careful. Ah, yeah. Oh, my hip, your hip. You can kill them with a fork, but please, use a spoon. It's the Stonewall Riots. Oh. Fork, Alia. Yeah. <laughs> what chores? Oh, probably shouldn't have climbed on Sinbad's cape. I'm busy! They paint horses, don't they? Hey, name means name. Get the horse there. Hey, what are you doing? Dressing me up like I'm Hoover or something? <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> oh, that guy's got the wrong concept of a pony ride. Oh, your hand's cold. <laughs> hey, boss, I just invented the Pony Express. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> I am completely capable of walking, thank you. Hey, folks. Did you see that guy back yeah, there? Pretty about easy, that? but I don't know. He's carrying a horse. Oh, Jello tonight. No. No. You are the bravest men I've ever known. Thank you. We still must search for the bird. We can't let anything stop us. Well, you're certainly right, Ollie. They're pretty good for their first season fight, Ooh. huh? Oh, it's like glass out there. I should be out water skiing. Due east. Defeats Truman. <laughs> the ships follow the calls of exotic lands. Hey, come the over here! Of rare spices rare. and magic herbs. The crystal palaces of Nashapur. The many colored gardens of Ababu. The golden city of Bangalore. The flame colored rocks of Nokomgi. The magic bird of happiness be found until the ships found themselves on the coast of mysterious India. Hey, with all those tents, they could do a Benny Hill sketch. Hey, there's George Harrison. Yeah. Oh, boy, this exotic land is so different from where we came from. Oh, boy. Uh, <clears throat> say, do you got anything uh, elephanty, sort of brassy-like uh, trinkets and stuff like that? Hey, I'm sacred. Leave me alone. Sure attracts lint. 
Ah, nobody's gonna miss just one. Come on, take it easy, easy. It's just a banana. Stay calm. Come on, Polly. Uh, Turn around and say hello. Uh, it's Rock'em Sock'em Chickens. Hey, look at the goods. More land here. Rich goods. More land. It's a junior Come achievement. Step right up. Step Cal, right up. he's not a very Step skilled right puppeteer. Hey, all of Ooh. you, take a look at what we have here. Take a look. Oh, man, these snakes are all tangled up today. No one goes there. Where's that Pronto Pup stand? Sinbad! Sinbad! You were great in necessary roughness! I've discovered they have a magic bird here which sings of happiness. I must see it at once. The prince keeps it in a golden tower behind seven walls. Oh, they shouldn't keep a bird inside on such a nice day. There are a thousand soldiers to guard it. I don't care. Careful, friend. We must not rush into things. This is a foreign place. But I must see this bird at all costs. We must employ our cunning here, Sinbad. Watch Tripod Rock. Their prince loves good steeds above all treasures, better than anything. Uh, do you understand me? You're going to pull back a bloody stump one of these times, old man. Ah, that's wonderful. <laughs> And now, the Aladdin proudly presents... Please, spare my cricket stand. Oh, help me, please. Hey, suddenly it's after... Oh, ow, 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 chief. Oh, I gotta get a case for this thing. Well, this movie's turned expensive. See? You know, you just can't have too much pageantry, huh? <laughs> Jumbo the elephant. Jumbo the elephant team. Is it Kate Capshaw? <sighs> So, uh, what kind of in-city mileage do you think that elephant gets here? I know one thing, they shouldn't have come into the city during rush hour. Yeah. That was a mistake. It's the Republican convention. <laughs> what with the elephant and all the <laughs> people. And... It's the Corn Palace. Leroy Neiman. Why do you not bow? We are free merchants from Kovacan. We come to sell our goods here. Let me present you with a sample. As a, a gift. sample? Oh. I am not an animal. Uh, oh, I guess I am. Your horse? Oh, yes. Isn't it grand? What price will you take for it? He is not for sale, Your Highness. Not to anyone. You surprise me that you suffer me insolence. Mm. I cannot sell him, and for that I regret. But I might be talked into trading him, if you like. You can Perhaps, negotiate anything. Uh, why not? State your trade. Refrigerator you repair. Have here a bird. I hear that it sings of happiness. Yeah, what Such you a bird wrong? horse like mine is worthy of. And that's what I will take in trade. Impudent infidel. Your presence here is insulting. I shall have your fine beast and your head. The hmm? foot of my elephant will crush you like a oh, give me five. And then the horse will be mine. You cannot. No! <laughs> oh, how's he doing that? See there? This is a magic animal. Whoever takes it away by force will be mortally stricken immediately. Hmm. Oh dear, think of an offer. He's not Sinbad. Be careful, sweets. That's an excellent offer. Let us play a game of chess, merchant. If you win, sir, the phoenix of happiness is yours. If not, the horse is mine. Okay. Well then, let's play. You wanna? <laughs> what the Boris Spassky Bobby Fisher match needed. Hey, it's human chess like at the Ren Fest. I wonder if Paula Abdul did the choreography here. So this is really a lot to go through just to move your pawn to Queen's Knight 3. You mind, I'm trying to think here. They do this for Pictionary too. Man, this is the most twisted version of battle chess I've ever seen. There. Isn't it kind of goofy having all these dances about? That throne makes him look like a peacock. Uh, Debbie? Yes, okay, I'll call her Debbie. Hello, Debbie. 
I'll get it. There. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He moved. He moved. He just made a little move. Is this bugging you? Is this bugging you? I am not touching you. Hello? Look at me. She's doing an Ed Grimley dance. Santa bites the bishop? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna move uh, this dealy pop uh, over to this thingamajiggy here. I heard the dicky down this thing in devil today. More later. Oh, let us castle their brandy decanters. You boys put down grandma's knickknacks this instant. Here, take my queen too, yeah. Check. Please. <laughs> oh wow, I'm tripping. The steed is mine. <laughs> uh oh. Pray forgive me, but you've lost. What happened? Checkmate. Oh. Uh. It's hard on the help, then. Yeah. You have one. Mm. You have my beautiful treasure. Mm. However, it is best not to contemplate treasures you might not be alive to appreciate. I'm not worried about it. My name's in the title. It's my bird right now. You have one. Yeah. So, the Emperor business treating you pretty good? What happened, sir? Did you win? Uh, we couldn't tell from back here. I bet you really dusted him, didn't you, sir? Yeah. Clap on, clap off, it's the clapper. Somebody just flush? Well, help yourself, have at it. Collect it. Get the whole set. Come on, you mugs. Nice dress. <laughs> dress? Oh, I get it. Oh, you're looking pretty smug. <laughs> like taking candy from a... How are we to get back? Never mind that now. Do not worry until it is necessary. <laughs> Do you wish to see the bird of happiness? Yes. Very well, then. I didn't mean to yell at you. Come on. Look, they worship Gilbert <laughs> Gottfried. Ow! Ow! Is this really the best away team he could have chosen? <laughs> hey, it was in the first place they looked. What do you know? <laughs> Welcome to the state capital, Madison, Wisconsin. That's not the bluebird of happiness, it's the penguin of giddiness. Oh, it's the grackle of Welchmertz. That's the grebe of obstinance. So, is this all it does? It's not dead, it's resting. Whatever it is, it's too big for the living room. Ooh. Get the boy out of here. About time somebody came to clean my cage, and I've been out of color bones for ages. Ah. You know, they also have a dog in there with Alan Alda's head, it's pretty neat. Well, we need the eggs. What do you think, Grady? I got to agree with him, Fred. I like it. It's blue and funny. <laughs> Draw on to the carpet, seekers of happiness. You are on the threshold of the land of blissful calm. Blissful calm. You have spent long years in the pursuit of happiness. And the good things in life. Burn, baby, burn. Turn this down and burn out. Have found nothing but a void. Nothing but a void. Make it. As a jaybird. And alone <laughs> is man upon the earth. On the earth. Dust buffalo wings. is his fortune forever. They do the nevermore bit. At least she's not molting anymore. Woe to him who tries to grasp. 
Happiness. Happiness. By a conscious act. Conscious act. Happiness is calm. Well, excuse the heck out of us. Please. Oh, I drank too I much breathe. cherry NyQuil. Hmm. Look at me until tears veil your eyes. Uh, one. And go to uh, sleep forever. Two. Uh, sleep please. the long sleep. The big the sleep. sleep. Hmm. What is the wicked Romper, bumper, you? stomper, boo. <laughs> Weep for no one, and I, the phoenix, will love you with my sweet song. Sleep, safe and restful sleep, sleep, sleep. Now operate heavy machinery. Guys, guys. A blissful calm, sleep. Oh, I hate going to grandma's. That's another good one, guys. Hey, look, our battery needs recharging. <laughs> Guys, come on. Can we zoom in on that pour? Oh, I'm killing him. Guys! Yeah. Uh, uh, Wake up! And smell the coffee! Wake up! And smell the coffee! Did I miss my route? Santa came! Quick, get Hart's Mountain on the phone. This is not the bird we are after. It ain't blue, it's Who's cobalt. It's you could never offer the people happiness. Your song is a lie. Can it feed the starving, comfort the sick? Please, I'm a very good woman. I'm just a very bad bluebird. This is bluebird. The we've been searching for, <laughs> but we'll take her with us. I do. Looks are. like a lot of jello molds up there on the ceiling. As Jim wrestled with the bluebird, I found myself safe in the chopper. And with Mutual of Omaha, you can find yourself safe in the chopper, too. Could you please put that on high, Steve? Love child, love child, never meant to be. That's the bellyless dancers. <laughs> you see? Here's the church. Here's the steeple. One Grecian urn. Wow, look at him go. <laughs> Believe this? Well, my lord, now they are ready. The pizza pockets are ready. Go and bring their heads to me. Okay, boss. Yo, Rio, Yo, Rome, Yo. Wonder whose heads he meant. Oh, well, we'll find out when we get there. Uh, about those heads? Uh, they're on the way. Uh, no problem with the heads. Spot me! You can learn a lot from a dummy. <laughs> Harpo's coming! Honk, honk, honk. It's quitting time! He's got great legs under that thing, doesn't he? <laughs> hey, I want to talk to you about that bird thing. Get back here! Oh, poopy. Well, now. They're afraid of us. Four neat guys. The prince does not like losing to us. Where have they gone so fast? Best we make our departure. Yeah. Ah, now Harpo's after the guys! Merchant ivory like you've never seen them before, big and bold. We are the men from Texaco. One and two and up! Kick those thighs up, come on! Kong's coming! Kong! 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 What is this, birth of a rhythm nation? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Tom, Joel, huh? I want you guys to know that I love you. That's I always nice. will. That's nice, honey. <laughs> hey, look up there. What? Where? 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 I don't see I don't no. Hey, look, here comes the world's slowest assault <laughs> team. <laughs> hey, Paul Wellstone, right in the middle. There he is. What are you going to do? He's strong. Use your magic bird to stop him. Use your own magic Sing bird. Sing your song, Phoenix. Sing your song, wise bird. And put them to sleep at once. <coughs> Oh, Sing, hey, watch bird. the vent. Sing. <laughs> Why? Sing or I'll pull them all out. Oh, she fell asleep on her cherry sucrete. <laughs> Hear my voice. Forget hey, all she's else. doing Marlena Dietrich. Sleep no. For sleep is the only truth. Hey, hey, wait, where's Crow? Sleep. I don't know. And I, what? the Phoenix, hmm? 
I don't know where it is. Look, <laughs> she's doing her Garrison Keeler effect here. <laughs> Bro! Oh, you know, next I'm up, more of that banjo and fiddle crap. Coming up next. What? We should go find Crow. It's kind of weird. Yeah, Crow. I don't see him anymore. Crow! 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 I, I couldn't find him anywhere. No, no, ditto. Uh, listen, did you check under the control room stairwell? Remember that one time he took a bunch of cookies and wedged himself under there for about eight hours? Yeah, no, he wasn't there either. <clears throat> but I found a Jolly Rancher fire stick with a little hair on it. <laughs> yeah, I had a really weird taste, kind of like Tabasco sauce and Silly Putty. I can't really recommend that. Tom, would you knock it off? We're trying to find Crow. Maybe we should uh, read the note on the desk. Oh, okay. Uh, guys? On lifelong quests like Sinbad? He's not Sinbad. Tom? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, guys, on lifelong quests like Sinbad, shot myself out airlock, never returning, ham and fridge, crow. Huh. Crow T robot to satellite of love one. Come in, satellite of love one. What? That's crow. The little fella must have taken a communication headset with him. Come <laughs> in, crow. Oh, Joel, hi. Uh, so, um, uh, I took some thrusters and shot myself out the airlock to go on my lifelong quest thingy. Well, it's, it's not going real well. Our thrusters are out of control. It's real cold. And right now, it seems as though my doom is imminent. <laughs> so, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, Crow, but wh where are you? I'm right outside the ship. Well, give me rocket number nine, quick. Hi. Uh, I'll try to fly past the window. Oh, uh, still haven't got the hang of these thruster things. Uh, Crow, this is Tom. Hi. Hey, if you're going to die out in the cold void of space, uh, can I have that Toblerone you've been hiding under your bed? <laughs> oh, I'm going to die. It's a given. Crow, you're not going to die. You just need to slow yourself down and get to one of the airlocks. Slow myself down. Oh, oh, we, oh, why do these stupid antenna have to stick out like this? Oh, my hinder. Oh. oh, Crow, I've got a feeling it's just about commercial sign, so we're going to have to leave. Oh, you guys go ahead. I'm fine. Oh, there you are. Oh, oh, listen, Crow, reverse your thrusters and steer yourself back to one of the airlocks. On my way to the theater, I'll set them to external control. Okay, sounds great. I'm dead. Oh, we got commercial sign here. He doesn't stand a chance. We'll be right back. Let's Man. taste that Tobler on. Sinbad <laughs> sailed on in search of oh, the I hope path. Crow gets back in Passing here. Pools and shrines. The great wonders of the earth. Oh. Came it through the airlock. Pretty easy. Have I wandered over the world Jeez. in search of magic and wow, a close one. With nothing but treachery and futility is my reward. And the Sphinx whispered, find your happiness in Kovasan. You big loser. Oh, he's holding the remote control for the slide projector. Oh. Wait a minute. I'm Sinbad, damn it! Uh, Earth to Sinbad, hello, come in, Sinbad. I'm a failure. Lower than a weevil. Next slide, please. Thank you. I'm feeling really bad. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Of Dorothy? Dorothy! Where are you? Oh, hi. <laughs> what? Big statue of George Washington, the hell? Oh. I must decide. All right, this is Jan Murray. Welcome to Las Vegas. Hoist the sails for Cobasan. We can't. We use them to wrap the horse. And return to our home. Man, this has been like waiting for Godot on the high seas. Huh? Well, those sails were filthy. It's good they sent them out to be dry cleaned. <laughs> Hoist the failure sails, mates, we're going home. We're going home, our heads are bowed. We failed. Boy, that blew in quick, huh? Whoa. It looks like they sailed right into the rinse cycle. Hang on, Bucky. Hang on, Bucky. The Tidy Bull races of 1993. Look at the sails, they're Mickey Cake sails. Look out, Mr. Maxwell. 
I have glued you all to the boats and put rods into your limbs for a reason. We lost one. Damn. Oh, there goes another one. Listen, why don't we all take our furs off? <laughs> Wait a minute. Pay toll ahead, 30 cents per axle. What next? <laughs> don't worry. Whoa, this should burn off by noon. <laughs> hey, we're shooting the tube, man. <laughs> Well, we're just going to get wet now. That's all there is to it. I have failed you, my friend. I have forgotten about King Neptune and did not make him an offering as I should. Oh, and yeah. And so he sends his stone to us. I know nothing will satisfy him. There must be a human sacrifice. <laughs> Why is everybody looking at me? I led you here. And if there is to be a sacrifice, it shall be me. Yeah! Woo! Yes! Yes! Good idea. yes. Fortune. We shall draw lots for this. That we shall, Sinbad. We are all brothers, and so must share the good things and the bad. Wait a minute, friends. I'll bring Neptune out in just a minute. I am heavily in debt to Neptune, so I shall go in to see. Okay, fine. I have one last favor to request. No, nope, no, nope, no time for that. In the go. Throw a cypress board onto the water for me, and give me my harp to take with me. No, don't let him take the harp, please. Do not cry, Hammerman. I'm not crying. My face is wet. Another world, another time, and you shall be a madman. Yeah, right. Whatever you want to hop in, Sinbad. It's getting bad out here. Uh, we lost two guys. You don't have to go now. Remember me to Luberia and the good people of Gorazan. Goodbye, Farewell. Sinbad. I think you're missing your wave. Oop, there it goes. I'm coming to you, Neptune. No, wait, stop, don't. Uh, make sure he's not holding onto a rope or anything. Uh, whack him with an oar. Is that his hand? Well, there he is now. He's standing on an air mattress. Uh, you might try getting under the water. Works better that way. I'll be going down in a minute, honestly. I'll be right down. Sinbad, old boy, you're not too far, man. Yeah, thanks for sacrificing yourself, Sinbad. We will return to the Tempest. Hey, I'm actually making pretty good time here. Well. Hmm. Hello, breakfast. Which way did she say again? Oh, what the heck did she say again? Oh, I'll just wing it. Down, down, down. Rock Lobster! And there, before his astonished eyes, was the miraculous kingdom of Neptune. And the capital of Neptune. Pearl bird. and coral gates, which revealed the splendor of the magical city below the sea. Uh, you don't have a wet dry vac, do you? It's more precious than iron on land. And I think is more precious. Oh, Archie! Not so! I say it is so! Not so! And how oh. dare you Excuse argue me? with me? Excuse me, Mr. or Mrs. Neptune? I am king. I rule everything. I rule here also. Bad. And you must obey me if you want peace here in this kingdom without any trouble with me. I am ruler. I also? I am ruler. And you will do what I tell you, or I will send you back to your mother. <laughs> I remember this routine from radio. Aha! <laughs> Sting is Bad here. Has come to us at last. We have been waiting for you. How come water isn't wet Did underwater? Did you bring your hop with you? I have it here with me, sire. <laughs> well then, play. <laughs> he looks a great deal like my cousin, the Domra. How can you say that? He looks nothing like Domra. Just look at him. Domra? <laughs> just look at him. Domra? Will you stop arguing with me Don't for just a minute? Don't talk about the boy, Martha. Domra! Tell her you look nothing at all like her stupid cousin, the Domra. He's not stupid. Allow me, sire, to play some music for you and for the queen. So you'll shut up. Play mm -hmm. something, something that might cheer me up. Let's start at the very beginning. David Crosby? Sir, sir, we're, we're underwater, but we still have standards. <laughs> hey, he put a quarter in the throne, now he gets to ride it. Get away from me, city cat. 
Kill me! Kill me! <laughs> kill me! Kill me! Please, God, kill me! Go ahead, play something that might cheer me up. Drink up, everyone. Club Octopi will be closing in five minutes. It's the Ice Capades with Jill Trinnery. Uh, sir, I really should be getting back to my men. You know, that ceiling octopus really helps with the circulation. <laughs> well, I kind of wish they'd celebrate internally. Is this supposed to be Sinbad's stomach? Mm. Are you, are you... Uh... Is there a phone I could use? I just have to make a quick call. Master Sinbad, master! Do you know any Rimsky Korsakov? Because <laughs> it bugs me the way he's playing that thing. Huh? Oh, hey, that sacrifice is really working out, Sinbad. Stroke! Stroke! Drown! Drown! Now wait a minute, how does that work? I'm trying to play, do you mind? Ships being wrecked, crews being drowned. Grapple filled on the well? Stop! What has happened? Well, I'm gonna save you for later. You stop the music. My harp string, sire. Ah. Uh, salt water messed up the tuning. I must return to the earth in order to get new ones. Ah, he'll, he'll go back to Earth and, and he'll never come back again. Yes. To ensure your return, you must marry one of my daughters. Or huh? leave your license. Are they not beautiful? Anyone would be lucky to have you for a husband, Sinbad. Mm. Pick one. Pick the one you like the best, my son. Daughter number one wears a star in her head and is fond of grouper. Number two, if I came home late one night, what would you say? Tell father that I am the one you choose. I'm not going to choose the infant of Prague. Well, I cannot marry you. I know all about your Luberia. Hey, that cleared up. I will help you once more. He's got a nice embouchure, doesn't he? Here is my choice. You don't want that one. She's the favorite of all my children. Pick another. No, only this one. How dare you speak to me like that? You are only a guest in this kingdom, and you shall do as I tell you, or you will not live to rise. Oh! To my mother now. Poopy, please. No, no, really. Now, wasn't I offered my choice? But you shall have your choice. And I say he will not marry Morgiana. And I say he shall. And I say he won't. He shall, or you'll regret it. <laughs> you knuckle Let him marry her. <laughs> <laughs> I do not care. <laughs> Boy, they started early today. Weird. Here, quickly, follow me down the fallopian tube. Boy, now she's got so much planning to do. She's got to register, pick out a bridesmaid. Uh, you want a carrot, Sinbad? This started getting weird a little while ago, didn't it? Yep, yep. I cannot marry you, O oh lovely princess. I have Luberia. You must know that I can. It's eating into my embouchure. Stop worrying, Sinbad. Your freedom is going to be spared. Huh? I love her very much indeed. I know. With all my heart. I understand completely. Forgive me for this. Hey, no problem here. It must be. Look, beat it! Fate willed it so. Hey, there's and plenty of fish in the sea. Her very much. Yes. With all my heart. And part of my spleen and a little bit of my I liver. I be angry with you for this refusal. So, goodbye. You are very proud of your love. It is a wonderful thing. To see you leave. So what can I do to help you? You have helped me so much already. Do you validate? Well, gotta go. But there is one more favor. If I could get back to land. And I've always wanted a pony. All right, my friend. And could you introduce me to Daryl Hannah? I will try. He's taken away my favorite. My favorite little daughter. Nah, I gotta go <laughs> sleep with Luca Brazzi. See ya. <laughs> Somebody pulled my tail. Oh, no. Sinbad, and stop hmm? for nothing until you reach home what safe and safe. Man, I've done some reason. weird things before, but wow. I shall never see you again, Sinbad. I shall bless you in my prayers. Marble now leave before Mustang. I change heart. How do you work this out? There goes a stupid, stupid man. It's unforgiven underwater. 
He's running away. Huh? Sinbad's escaped. I'm drunk. Sinbad's escaped. Get me my chariot. I'll catch the scoundrel. Oh, I did it again. Oh, oh man, it's a team of prawns. <laughs> Boy, he's really hugging the seahorse. Yeah. Hey, ease up, buddy. I've got an exoskeleton for crying out loud. Da 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 Want me to wait, pal? No, that's okay. Hey, I won! <laughs> He's kissing a gopher. She's been standing there for six years. Oh, gotta go, gotta go. Oh, really bad. All that water. Okay. And it's treatable! I have returned. Uh, nothing happened between me and the sea, babe. Last time here. Oh. Look at that. He's there already, and we left before him. Sinbad's back. Hey, no, they are today. Woo! Come off again. Hey, guess who's back? Stop yeah. working, everybody. It's Day him. Off. Sinbad again. Let's go. Down the docks. I'm for crying out loud. I can't believe this. Uh, well, they got the failure sails up. Yeah. Go away! Big plague here! Go away! Death and stuff! Oh, the merchants are acting up again. We're going to be making it all! So, Sinbad, how about that bluebird of happiness, huh? Where is Sinbad? Now, where's Waldo? He is no more. Here I am, my friend. I have returned to you. This guy's like a bad penny. Get him, guys! Tear him up! <laughs> Everybody, welcome the failures. They have failed again. Where did you find the bird of happiness? There is no bird. Then where is happiness? Here. It's been here always. Oh, bogus. Everybody go back home. Our ships have been around the world. Oh, We've seen amazing and marvelous things. You went to the Quad City. Yet nowhere huh? find any place to compare with our own home. Yeah. Ooh. Let's get out of here. Follow your heart to happiness. Stop looking into my soul. Hey, what about me? What's going on? decided to visit the ship today. It's the lovable, huggable channel cat from the underwater scenes in this week's Sinbad movie. That wasn't Sinbad. Wow, is that ever boss? I'm really happy to be here, Crow. It knows my name. Wait a minute. And how's Tom Servo? <laughs> Fine, thanks for asking, channel cat. Wait a minute, you're not the same fish from the Sinbad movie. That wasn't Sinbad. Yeah. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yep, yep, yep. There's no way that fish is from the movie. He's doing something. Yeah, I hear you big time. That thing's no more alive than I am. Oh, what's it made out of? You know, if I had to guess, I'd say some sort of aluminum armature with a webbing of pneumatics. Still, I don't see any tubes running off it or a compressor anymore. No, 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 Crow. Just look at the action he's getting with that thing. It's definitely not audio animatronics. Now, if my guess is right, and it usually is, is, I bet my wife that Joel rotoscoped the fish from the movie, digitized and copied extra frames of the mouth movement, and then simply used a laser projector to mat the fish footage over his hand. Then there's just a small matter of adding the voice, which he's obviously doing himself. No, no way. I'm definitely seeing and rendering this thing in three dimensions. Right. Mm -hmm. No, sorry, Tommy. Oh, jeez. Crow, it defies any kind of explanation. Oh, look at that thing. Those eyes. Weird, I'm huh? scared, hey. Crow. How's Chuck Stop! and Crow? Oh, it knows what I'm thinking! Get out of my head! Ah! Mommy. Um, how's Tom today? Oh, 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 yeah! 
help me, help me. Oh, we got to read um, oh, We got to read a uh, letter here. Okay, put this up on still store, okay? We'll put that up there. Okay, that one too. Okay, and this is from Eldon Chrissy, age seven. And uh, they write, Dear Joel Crow, Tom Servo and Gypsy, I like your show a lot. Whenever me and my dad watch it, we can't stop laughing. My favorite episode was when a man pointed to another man and Crow yelled, pull my finger. Hello, guy. Hello. Uh, Wahapa. Well, thing tried to jump me, so I had to kill it. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, what do you think, sirs? Did you see that? He was using his hand the whole time. Hi, TV's Frank. My name is Fisty. Well, if that don't beat all. <laughs> How come they call you Fisty? Ah, uh, here's why. <laughs> oh, that's Fisty. Nice job, Fisty. Push the button, will you? Live to serve!